Hello, my name is Edwin Abrahamian, and I'm an engineer with Ceratech. Today, we'll be demonstrating some of the reverse engineering functions within NX12. To start things off, we have some point cloud data that we have imported into NX. So this is scanned data, essentially, that's now a facet body. So the first thing I want to do here is actually convert this into a convergent body. So uh, this function operates or lives under the reverse engineering tab. If you don't see this tab, you can always right click in your menu here and you can go and checkbox that reverse engineering to put it into your menu. So we're going to go ahead and convert facet body. We're going to select our facet body and we're going to make it convergent. So you can just hover over, give a description. So to have a convergent body, it's suitable for modeling and reverse engineering. So it can perform a lot of different functions to manipulate this body now that it is convergent rather than uh, a facet body. So click apply here. Once we have this convergent body, we can go ahead and manipulate it as needed. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually changing the color here. So we can go to view, we can go to our edit object display, choose our color, and we'll make it a strong stone. Click apply. So now it's a bit easier to see. So if you zoom into the end here, you can see there's some threads that were meant to be 3D scanned in. You see if there's some holes in here. So the first function we're going to kind of show is this reverse engineering in the reverse engineering tab is the fill hole. So if I select fill hole, uh, our type is to fill a hole. You have other options like filling an island or bridging a gap. We're going to select our facet body. We'll be doing our selection method, which is a number of edges. And now you can toggle this meter right here. And we want to get, as you can see, when we increase this, it highlights which um, holes are manipulated or filled. So we'll do the max here with 63 and we'll have a refined smoothness. We'll click apply to apply that. So now you'll see that these holes are indeed filled and now these are representing threads that we 3D scanned in essentially. So now let's say for FEA purposes or manufacturing purposes, we don't really want to see this end of this part. So we can go to the snip tool, select our facet body, we can draw a boundary just by clicking here and clicking the center mouse button to close it, specify a region that we want to keep, and we can click OK to remove that area. So now that we do that, we have a hole here. So we want to cap this end. So we go back to the fill hole, we can select our facet body, then we can do a user selected, select our hole so it recognizes this end as a single curved spline, click apply to select that. So now you'll see that it'll go ahead and cap that end for us. So it's really easy to manipulate this geometry now that it's a convergent body within NX12. So again, we started off with a point cloud data or scan data as facet geometry. Now we can go ahead and uh, show some more functions. So we'll be splitting this or dividing the faces. So the first thing we want to do is detect primitives. We can select our facet body here. And what we're doing here is we're basically going to break this down or distinguish certain parts um, or areas of this component by shapes. So a plane is recognized as red, spheres are green, cylinders, cones, and other. So we can apply to confirm that. So now we can manipulate it further. Um, so now we can go to our divide facet face. We can use our pick method by doing color regions. And now that we've already divided into these primitive shapes, we can go and select these regions. So we want to divide this region, we want to divide this region as its own distinct faces. So now we can go and manipulate these faces as separate entities, let's say for FEA or manufacturing purposes. So you can see these are now distinct individual faces. So now, in addition, we are able to divide a face 
by using a fine brush. So you can literally go in here and draw where you want to divide this plane. And you can see now that this area in the center here is now its own distinct face as well. So let's say now you want to go and merge faces that were divided. You can go to the merge facet faces, select the whole component, and click OK. Now you can see that we're back at our original state. Everything is merged in its one component, one convergent body with no, no separate faces. So hopefully this helps in showing some of the functionalities within reverse engineering, namely dividing faces and converting to a convergent body from facet data, as well as snipping and filling holes. Thank you.